I don't think it's that big of a deal. It's, it's way different than anything NSA related because this is the parent's decision, right? They are choosing to opt in. They're not being forced to. They're not being spied on. So if a parent chooses, you know, to have the smartwatch and monitor their kids, I feel bad for the kids. But, you know, it's the Is it any different than some of these that have like a, you can take pictures with them and all of that? Well, I, I mean, I think it is. As long as there's the opt-in ability and it's the choice of the consumer, I think right. it's fine. I'm sure my parents wish they had it. I was a pretty rambunctious child. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, but, you know, that's, she raises a very good point. It's your choice. If you want this, and it, it, you, you might find it offensive, but if other parents, you know, just look at it and say, well, I really do have to keep track and I'd, I'd like to have it. Where does it all go? Well, I, as long as it remains optional, I'm fine with it. That, that's, I think that's where you draw the line. You know, it, it, at any point this becomes something that parents have to do, then I have a real problem with Teams, uh, you know, you're wearing a scarf or something that's offensive right. to some other group. Where do you go with that? Well, it actually looks like I might differ with everyone at this table. <laughs> because, look, the, the San Francisco Giants is a private enterprise, right? And so if this is a decision they're making as a private business, that's their right. But if they're they, dictating this in... Uh, but it's but they're, it's their business. Where do they business. play? What's the name of their park? Candlestick? Is that I don't know. Their park? I'm, a, I'm a DC girl. But, but it's but like <laughs> sixty thousand to fill that but, stadium. But so here, look, they're, they're they're a private business. I mean, if they want to ban beer as well, that's their decision. And here you. Oh, well, then I'm out. Oh, me too. But you had <laughs> mentioned you had mentioned the Redskins though, and I'm actually. Born and raised Washington, D.C. area. I love the Redskins. Give them a shout out. But look, the difference between that is we've got the government trying to come in and dictate free speech. They're trying to infringe upon our, infringe upon our free speech. And so there's a, I think there's a pretty stark difference between the two. I find, I find expensive uh, beer and hot dog prices too much, so I find that offensive. Right. Bingo. You know, exactly. Right. Focus on the things that really are offensive. I think the whole equal pay argument is perpetuated by Democrats to use as a talking point. And the reality is, if you look at a lot of the studies that they But do you buy to, what, what Pam was saying at the top, that there is a disparity, there's a clear disparity? But this is, this is a point I'm making. So I think a lot of the studies and a lot of what people point to is uh, studies that don't take into a lot of different variables, right? It doesn't take into hours worked, it doesn't right. take into the type of job, and it doesn't take into potentially taking some time off to be a mother and stay at home with your kid. There's, there's studies that show that young women in their 20s who are not married actually make more yes. than their male counterparts. A dollar, right? yes, a dollar oh eight um, per dollar. And so, actually, if you look at the way it breaks down, it, it's mm -hmm. not true. Women right. are making more in their, no, their early true. 20s. It's